Welcome to GamesWise, it's me, Wisecracker, and in today's episode, a special Vault build, especially made for the Overload ability. Now let's check out how I modded this beautiful Vault. First, the rifle amp, and of course, a lot of power efficiency with streamline and fleeting expertise. Then, I've got a little strength with blind rage and intensify and later I will explain why and of course the vigor mod for a little bit of shield and health always handy stretch of course because I want to reach as much enemies as possible power max and of course natural talent electrocute a chain of enemies with the first ability shock and as you can see go to the dark side and shock your enemy and all those around him with this ability and because of the range mod there's a whole lot of enemies I can reach the second ability is speed and because of this build this ability is more or less useless it only runs for about four seconds but for those four seconds you gain super speed and your attacks do so as well the third ability is an electric shield which is very handy against a large group of enemies that are shooting at you when you or your fellow Tenno are shooting through the shield your ammo gets electricity damage and now the fourth and last ability overload an ability that shocks your enemies stuns them this shock is also paired with an additional instance of damage that decreases with distance and is increased by body part multipliers And because this build has a lot of power strength, it kills a lot of enemies right away. Electric devices are also affected by this ability. And when enemies are standing close, they get shocked again by an electricity arc. So if you have a lot of enemies and a lot of electronic devices around you, just use this ability and the electricity will keep on fucking with them. Did you see how strong my Volt was? It was amazing! The Volt is very effective against robotic enemies. So, when you are fighting the Corpus, it's very handy. Remember when I said when there are a lot of enemies around you, just use this ability? Well, as you can see, in this Tower 3 defense mission, I have no problems in later stages to kill a whole lot of enemies that are surrounding me. This build has only an Oricon reactor, no formas installed, so it's very easy to build for anyone. You only need the mods. So I hope you enjoyed this. Do it yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios. And the third one, super jump, is is pretty fun, but I I don't see the use of it. But look at this. God, Jaga. Nice combo, jumping in the air and using your radial javelin, the last one. You launch javelins towards enemies, you do impact, puncture and slash damage and enemies that survive are temporarily stunned. Now with this particular video you can see that I'm...